Hello, here I am back again. I'm always playing with the car coils, like you know. This time I went to a website from Jean-Louis Nadine from France. It's gnaudin.free.fr, glnlab.com, the quest for overunity. And I came uh, on his website as I was playing with the car coil and of course, yes, he's something doing with it. Um, exploring Tesla is one of his subjects and if you scroll you will find the Avramenko's free electron pump, the AF, <laughs> sorry, AFEP version 1.0. What you see here is a flashing xenon light. I've got a version just like that. This one is flashing, of course. It has uh, something to do with uh, Tesla, of course. Uh, if you want to know all the details, go ahead and read it. Here you see his setup. He's got a big car coil in the middle, a little uh, battery, two meters. And here, very tiny, you can almost not see it, but this is the xenon lamp. Now, the way it is connected is with an Avramenko plug. So, well, this, this is all what he was doing. So, I tried to do the same. Sorry, bye bye. Don't need you. Um, oh, gee, it's my light, sorry. Um, this is my setup, and I will show it um, as it is here. This is one battery, 12 volt, very standard. Um, this is, well, in effect, just uh, one transistor. There are two, but, well, it's they are uh, uh, empowering each other, so that you need uh, less power to open the gate. The, 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 whatever. Uh, standard car coil. Mine is a motor coil. We already know that. I've got my homemade spark gap attached to a bunch of wire which actually goes down in the floor. Uh, there's a rod in the floor. The, this is my capacitor. One microfarad. Um, lots of volts. Um, where is it? Well, I, oh yeah, that's, uh, it says 2100 volt AC, but I'm going to use it for DC anyway. This is the Avramenko plug, two diodes, high voltage, 8 kilovolts. The xenon lamp, bulb, <laughs> and um, in the middle, I know it's very difficult to see because it's glass inside. Um, in the middle, there's a crocodile clamp uh, just being there uh, on the glass, um, transferring the electrons from this antenna, which is uh, copper, in fact, um, and it's going to give, give us some free electrons again. Go to the website from GL Nodan. Uh, he will explain in more detail. Um, let's see if we can get it started because we are not here for the chit chat. Um, well, um, actually, it's already started. Sometimes uh, this setup with a transistor needs a little startup, but not for now. Well, there isn't much to be said. Um, I did have a look at the power draw. It's about uh, 350 milliamps. It's not that interesting, I would say. Um, the frequency is running. Um, it, I think it's about 9 kilohertz or more. Um, it can only be heard. I didn't try and find it out. Well, you can see this happens. Well. What's so special about what I'm doing here? No, I wouldn't say it's really special. I've got the car battery hooked up to the transistor. 
it is um, firing the coil, the car coil, uh, which has got two leads. One is going directly to the Av Avramenko plug and thereby uh, charging the capacitor, which is discharging, of course, via the xenon lamp. Should I say bulb? Whatever. Which is drawn here. This is the capacitor, Avramenko plug. What did I add? Because if you read on Nordin's website, it says don't you don't use the earth because it would mess up. What did I find out? If I remove the earth, there's no flash. There's no flash at all. Everything is charged. Well, I can get a charge everywhere. It's not much, of course. But as soon as I'm going to give it a little bit of a spark, not too much, indeed just a little tiny spark. Oh, yeah. Needs to get started. I can hear the, the, the pitch sound it makes. And I am adjusting the spark gap just a tiny bit. And I'm, in effect, I'm really listening. Because I know when there are a lot of electrons jumping over, uh, I hear this hissing sound, then I know I'm at a high frequency. Well, the hissing sound isn't that good to be heard, but then again, it's not a problem, because it is as it is. Um, yeah, well, it's, uh, it is a very simple setup. There is high voltage just, um, well, at this moment, on most places. It has to do with uh, this tiny spark over here. Maybe I can show you this spark. Yeah, 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 yeah. there it is. Small as it is, but it is sparking. And it is this spark that's making it flash. Now let me see if I can change it a little bit more. You can now hear it hissing. It's hard to get it adjusted at that specific point. And besides, I'm not left-handed, so let me switch hands. Now if I push it, Yes, this is really hissing, it was, and you can hear it here also over here, and it's flashing like mad, you can see it's blue on the uh, sides, left and right side, and it's really flashing like mad, really, I love it. Um, well, who wouldn't? And to see this in perspective... Well, let's cut lights. Okay, sorry. Not that impressive. Okay. Okay, well that's for now just it. Go and have a look on the website of Jill Now Then. I will write down the URL, of course, for who wants to know. And if you have got any questions or whatever, you want me to try out something different, it's a very simple setup. Um, I don't care about the voltage or the amperage. I can remove that coil and put anything over there. It, as long as it has got free electrons, maybe a piece of iron or whatever, 
what happens I can take it off like this you know it's still running uh, it doesn't bite does it no I don't feel a thing I'm holding it and it's still flashing I can still hear it hissing so it's, it's a strange setup it's gathering electrons from the outside and it's effectively um, starting the xenon to flash it just needs a couple of free electrons and they are gathered just with a piece of wire actually this is uh, eye iron inside it's not a copper wire it, I know it's an iron wire it's not really for uh, high voltage and or high um, amperage now you see as soon as I cop if when I put it on there it starts flashing a little better a little bit okay well so far so good let me know if you've got any questions like me to change things it's a simple setup I can have it placed here in five minutes thank you for watching